Hey folks, Mark Johnson, Tech Snobs. Brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 4 on Verizon. Let's get into it and check it out. Do some impressions, comparisons. A big fan of the Note series. I've pretty much had every one. Um, let's look at the back of the box here. Pre-installed SIM card, of course. Note 4. Nothing really. No headphones or anything like that. Let's see what we got. Let's see if anything is cool. This year, Samsung uh, did some design changes. Um, of course, you've got your Verizon guide. Yeah, no headphones, normal uh, chart. Actually, these are the heads for the, um, I guess, the stylus, I believe. Yeah, the tips for the top of the stylus. But this charger here supports this a fast, uh, adapted fast charger. And what's cool is I believe it will go to like 50% in like 30 minutes or something like that. Let's get to the device itself. Note 4. Uh, you see the Verizon branding on the back. Let's get into it. First of all, you're going to notice the design of this thing is crazy. On the sides, fully metal band all around. No more of the, um, you know, the plastic that is kind of, you know, people have kind of knocked Samsung on. But build quality feels definitely very, very nice. Um, beautiful 5.7 QHD display. As well, we're going to get more into that and kind of check that out. 3220 milliamp hour battery. Of course, you got your heart rate monitor, you got 16 megapixel camera. Of course, you have on the bottom the S Pen, which I believe is a little even a little bit different from last year's. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and compare it to some other devices. Namely, let's start it off with the Galaxy Note 3. Um, very similar in a lot of ways, but as you can see. When you turn it on the side, no longer do you have the fake, you know, last year was kind of like a fake metal plastic band, and this year you have real metal on the side, so that's definitely cool. And they got rid of the fake stitching, too, from last year. You had the little fake stitching, which is being plastic, and then this year, a similar feeling on the back, but it's not, um, you know, it doesn't have that fake stitching. Looking at the S-Pens, a little bit different design. Um, this one with the Note 4, a little bit, it's a little more ribbed all around, but it's also compared to some other devices we got out here. Here it is with the, the Galaxy Alpha. Now, this is a gr this is a nice device as well. I have to power that one up, but it's very similar in the design with the metal all around. Um, you know, but it's very, very nice. This is a 4.7 inch versus a 5.7 inch. You can see glaring, big change in the size. HTC One M8. Uh, five point, I'm gonna say five point two or five point one. Actually, it's a five point oh display. Um, once again, HTC. Obviously, it's bigger in every kind of way. Galaxy S5. You got this going against a five point two inch display. Um, got the dimpled back. Similar in a way, but not really. You know, but I can kind of similar material. Last year's monster, the uh, Lumia 1520, which is a six inch display. Um, as you can see, wider, taller, all that good stuff compared over to the Note. I always hate the little bloop sound on the Note. That's one be one of the first things I cut off. And then last but not least, we got it against the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, 6 Plus here, pretty much, it's actually a tad bit taller. It is definitely thinner. About the same width. But hey, if you these are pretty much the two top smartphones out there, I say, as far as you know, big phones go. Um, but you know, both have nice quality builds. But it's gonna pretty much wrap up the, the unboxing and comparison. Uh looking you know, just briefly at the you know the Note 4. Of course, you got the S Pen. Let's see some of the apps installed. Uh Handcom Office 2014. Of course, you got a lot of bloatware. You got all the Verizon stuff. You got the NFL Mobile, Slacker Radio, more Verizon stuff. Let's go here and look at the storage. 32 gig. And out of the box, you got 23.2 uh, gigabytes available. 
Android uh, 4.4.4 KitKat. Also saw it's going to get um, the latest Android Lollipop coming soon. So thanks for watching, folks. Be sure to check out the site, tech-snobs.com, for more coverage. Once again, great build quality on this thing. This feels really sturdy. Also notice another thing, no more USB 3.0 on the bottom. Like last year, it had a special cable that, you know, one side you could plug in a micro USB. This year, it's just strict micro USB. I believe it's just USB 2.0. I'll double check that. So thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care.